Now at feralaudio.com slash shop. Three new Feral Audio t-shirts are available for a limited time in over a dozen styles and colors. Men's, women's, tank tops, hoodies, stickers, and more, including an original design Monarch by Julia Hagelin seen on our historic Comic-Con 2016 Hall H panel. Check them out at feralaudio.com slash shop. Hey guys, this week on Dumb People Town, we've got the star of Harmon Town, Dan Harmon. Thank you for joining us on this show. Harmon, Harmon, ho! That's I my love catchphrase. That. I, love, I yes. love that. Put that on a t shirt, Put Dan. that on a t shirt and then stuff it in your. I don't know. Is it fair to say on this episode we we find out how the cake is made? We do. <laughs> we find out how the cake gets made. And, and for you to find out how the cake gets made, you got to check it out. Dan Harmon on this week's Dumb People Town. Hello, America, all the countries and all the ships at sea. It's Jeff Davis from Harmontown, here to interrupt our show to talk about NatureBox.com. It's snacks, but healthy snacks, delicious healthy snacks. They got all kinds of cool shit. They send you stuff to your house. You order as much as you want. You eat as much as you want. Go to NatureBox.com slash Harmontown, and because you're a Harmontown fan and don't know what to do with your life, you get 50% off your first order. That's NatureBox.com slash Harmontown. Snack it up, motherfuckers! Feral Audio. I'm going to start off with a song that I've grown to love. I don't think I touched it. This is Rob Schraub about working with Ben. Hollywood, California, Harmontown is now in session. Let's bring out Spencer Crittenden, shall we? There's me boy. And the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. It's a good song. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's outnumbered in hating me. You know? People like me. And they like working with me. Uh, happy Easter. Thank you for coming on a holiday. Uh, you, got, you, you got a little scratchy throat? Yeah, uh, that's why I'm excited that we have, like, a gigantic abundance of guests th tonight. Uh, Do we have too much, too much show? I think it's perfectly balancing... The, I, I've been, I just, it's all, like, I, I it's meetings all week, and, like, I'm just, I'm always talking. My job is always talking. Like, I'm not, I, I never get to, like, go, okay, good meeting, guys, and then just start, uh, like, operating a jackhammer. <laughs> and just thinking about it. That meeting was crazy. My whole life is just meetings and talking now. Uh, talking about writing, like, rarely writing. And even, when, and even when I am writing, I'm talking about what I'm writing because I'm writing with other people and I'm going like, well, this should be written like this. Well, I think it should be written like this. Well, you're a piece of shit! <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> and, then, and then all weekends, I'm shooting uh, this history thing, Great Minds, and we, we, we worked with Nick Kroll today. And, oh, uh, man. It was amazing. I, I just watched the, uh, the, the Thomas Middle, the Shakespeare thing one. That you, I was so happy you guys shot it at the uh, Tin Horn Flats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great little bar. Yeah, it, very funny. Yeah, we've been very. I mean, we have. It's it's called Great Minds, and we have to. It's 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 been like a real like squad goals kind of like just <laughs> convention for me. I just like like so everybody that I've ever wanted to like just meet or work with is like coming through. Um, uh, we do have, yesterday was Kristen Shaw as Amelia Earhart. She's 
shit, she's like, uh, uh, like uh, it, regardless of an on screen, like C- C- Kristen Shaw is like, and I asked around after she left the set, and I almost wanted to ask her, but I'm kind of a stranger to her, so I thought it'd be a weird question. I wanted to ask, are you in a really good mood today, or are you, are you always like this? She, she's just like, like a totally chill, delightful person. And then I, Shrab had had worked with her. It was like, yeah, no, she's exactly like that all the time. I was having a sandwich at a place today, and uh, the the the. the the, the, Jeff, how can you pretend that's related? <laughs> this is what Jeff does. He always forces the bartender, the waiter. I'm name dropping, and you're always forcing your ordinary world experiences. <laughs> the waiter walked up. The waiter walked up to the bartender and said, "That Thank girl you. from Flight of the Concords." That girl from Pride of the Conquerors, and I, I, I knew who they meant. So, like, she came in today, and she was the coolest person in the world. Like, like, like she, she was just sprinkling stardust around yeah. our neighborhood. I'm telling you, I, I don't want to. That's how I spread my fucking common day bullshit around. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to cause trouble for her in her personal life, but like, she, like, like, by, yeah. by making people go, oh, I'm gonna seek her out and stalk her. I, I, I just like, she is truly, she's like a human air freshener. I, I have. <laughs> I, I have walked onto planes where I've overheard flight attendants say, Kristen Shaw was on the plane earlier and she was like, made everybody so happy. We, like, we, we flew 500 feet higher <laughs> w- and, and used less gas. Yes. We got there so early that there was no gate for us to land at. <laughs> they had to build it. Yes. We, we, uh, we arrived at, 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 at the US Memorial Airport. Yeah. Found out we had died they, of they, happiness like, in the past, which was the present. Dan Spencer, like, 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 like people that if you work in the industry long enough, you, you'll meet people and you'll hear good stories about people, bad stories. There are certain people that people have negative things to say about, positive things. Nobody so far has ever said anything negative about Kristen Shaw, as far as I've ever heard. There's a bunch of, you know, I mean, I wouldn't want, that, that's not as rare a thing. It's like there's, there's menches in the world, like, like Will Ferrell and, I mean, Nick Kroll, who we worked with today. Like, 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 I don't, I don't, I never heard a Nick Kroll's a dick story. I, he, like, that guy is like a, I, I told him today, cause I was like, thank you so much for doing the, the, the show. Like, like, he just came in and, I don't want to say took over in a that that makes that makes makes it sound like he was telling people what to do. He just it was just easier to just let him go. He was like a pull string doll that you pull and he just like acts all over the place. It's amazing. <laughs> I I told him I said not not that it's a competition, but I, I, I said I said Nick Kroll, you are like a tornado that builds houses. <laughs> yeah. He- because he made us, she made our TV show for us. Yeah, it was we, crazy. He, we, we just let ours be torn down, and like there was a better one erected as he, as he wished through. Um, yeah, it was, it was so yeah, we gotta have those guys. But every, whatever, uh, famous people are great. Uh, no, yeah, they're not all great. The, the point, one exception the point like, is you've been lucky. The point is that you're getting to work with the <laughs> coolest people in the world. There are dicks. There's like there's Rob Corddry. Is it? You know, right. uh, <laughs> that guy. I, I'm like, so you, glad I wasn't here for that show. He you, sounded like he sounded like such a tool. I know. Well, I, I I fucking bit my lip because it's like you're you, such a dick. You, you, you issued a lot of restraint, and I, I thought that was very good of you. I know. Well, what are you going to do? I have an obligation to the crowd. I want to put on a good show, so I don't want them to feel also, the Rob, but it's like... Rob Schraub, too. I mean, come on. Yeah. No, these guys are racists, <laughs> sexists. Uh, do, you, do you think there's any corollary to their being named Rob and being bald at the same time that <laughs> makes them the same version of bad people? I don't know. Well, I don't have any... Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, we have a lot of guests, so why don't we, why don't we, why don't we start bringing them out? P- please welcome, fresh off of their two-man show tour on uh, Off-Broadway... Uh, 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 Rob's Schraub and Cordry are here. <laughs> Rob Schraub, Rob Cordry. We did it. <laughs> we already have too much show. This is already more I was show. I give you the pole position here. No, I'll just, I'll you've get, earned I'll, it. No. I, feel like you've I earned sat it. across him from... Ro- Rob Cordry. I don't feel like I deserve this. Seat. Rob, my, Rob Cordry. Yeah. May I address you, please? Go ahead. I was uh, out of town last show. Yeah. I listened to it. It made me so happy Yeah. that you are such a big fan of the show. And yeah. Like, you love your Dave Kleins. You were sad that Anna, you were yep. sad Anatoly wasn't here. <laughs> I was. Is he here? 
Fuck. No. I think he's moved on. <laughs> he's, he's blowing it. Yeah. Uh, the turnover rate is high, you know. Really? Dave, uh, Dave Klein will stop yooping uh, yeah. pretty soon. Adam oh. Goldberg's probably not here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're catching these kids in a in a in a turbulent time of their life. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no Charles Grodens in the audience. <laughs> They're just like, I, I love your show. I'm gonna be here for 35 years. Yeah, but Jeff, I was really upset that you weren't here. I mean, you, uh, the Trump fact, was a great cr- comptroller. I I would, did pretty good. He's a great comptroller, especially when his parents are I, here. Oh yeah, <laughs> because I, he's the least shrubby. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that episode with with. Uh, is it David? Who's your dad's name? David. Dave. 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 David. David. Dave and Donna, right? Jeez. David and Donna. Yes. Yeah. Jeez. I'm, the the episode with your parents on was really magical. I, I thought I thought that was really because it turns lovely. out well because that's what controls him. It's a <laughs> bringing Schraub's parents on stage is like picking up a, a feral cat by the scruff of the neck. <laughs> Schraub just went limp. It's a, he, just, he knows. He felt. He was, he was just shaking his head the whole time at you. Just, uh, be careful. Be careful. So you guys, are, you know, I mean, yeah, it's, man, it's great that. <laughs> yeah, what? A, yeah, yeah, man. Lay it on us. Yeah, lay it on us. Shrubbing it now. Lay it, lay it on. Full on shrub. Give it. Give it to us, man. Lay uh, it. Yeah. You're getting the double shrub right now. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, man. Lay it on. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, give me a red cup. Oh, give it to me. Give me a red cup. Give me a red cup. Shit! Oh shit! Rob Cordry. Shit! Shit! Rob Cordry, how do you feel about chips? Oh shit! Chips. 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 Oh shit! They're good, right? Chips. Good. Chips are great. Oh, chips. So you guys are just, you're just finishing a first successful run of your yeah. off-Broadway off two-man show. Yeah. Uh, tw- t- d- double the robs. Uh, yeah. Uh, qu- qu- <laughs> too many robs. T- yeah. T- <laughs> right. Too. There's a lot of um, subtitles. Yeah. Double the robs. Too many robs. Rob robs. I hate I hate I hate doing this to you guys without warning. But is there like a is there like a scene from it or a part oh, yeah. of the show? Oh, that you, oh gosh, um, you want to do the spaghetti? Yeah. Should spaghetti we do s- which one? Spaghetti scene. Spaghetti scene. Spaghetti yeah. scene. <laughs> yeah, this uh, gets pretty fucked up. Yeah, that's, that's okay. the one I read about in Esquire. This gets yeah. pretty yeah. fucked up. Uh, okay. Okay, this is too. This is uh, too many robs. All right. Uh, 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 what, what act? What, what what scene are we in right now? This is like two A. Spaghetti. Two A. Two A. All right. And in my hand, I have just to set set the scene. Um, I have we've been talking. He's been asking for a plate of spaghetti for a long time, and I have a pl- I finally bring out the plate of spaghetti, and and it's a bowl. I thought I had fuck won. you. <laughs> fuck this you. This is clearly a bowl. It is not a plate. Fuck. I want a plate of spaghetti, please. Send it back to the kitchen immediately. Immediately. And then, and then, there's a whole scene. There's a whole. Yeah. We have a whole kitchen. Oh yeah, you play the. Yeah, yeah. Dan will play the kitchen staff. Is this yeah. two, two B or two C? Where, where, where are we now? No, okay. Well, that, yeah. well it's, a, it's a hard to explain. Yeah, yeah. You, it's you, a two-man show, but there's actually nine to ten, nine to ten people. Right. That. Help us out, right. Dan. Like six, six of them are uh, attractive young women that yes. hip hop, hip hop interstitials. All dressed in black, <laughs> right? Yeah. So that you're in the kitchen now. He wants a plate. He can have the plate if he don't pay. <laughs> you haven't seen the show. <laughs> but but whatever. Wow. Uh, we'll just. We'll just we'll, we'll just we'll deal, we'll skip to the third. Yeah, we'll act. deal skip, with this. Give me the plate. Yeah, me the plate. Fucked it up. You fucked it you up fucked on purpose. Up. All right, we'll skip to the third act. Okay, okay, great. Oh, oh, this is a plate because my hand is straight. Rob, thank you so much for this plate that you gave me. Take it. I'm trying. Take it. I'm trying, but my take it. I'm gonna drop my hand. Okay, okay. You have to take One, the weight of the plate. Two, two three. three. 
And then... And the plate was stuck to plate, my hand. Yeah, it stuck to his hand. And... And... And it's... It, it, this it, show has run for five years. Yeah. <laughs> Off, off, off yeah. Broadway. It's presented as if that's a magic trick. When I saw the right. show, and I did see it, right. And in my defense, Tim Conway was playing the part I was doing. Right. He was the understudy. Yeah. Right. So maybe I laid it on too thick for you, but yeah. Uh, it's not a good show. The uh, the thing is that you present the plate stuck to the hand as if it's like a magical thing, but it, yeah. that scene comes after twenty minutes of those six girls dancing. Right. It's plenty of time to glue a plate to your hand. Yeah, but but as you. But we, we, but we didn't use any glue. No. Yeah, it's it actually. It's enough time to make a special plate with a hand strap on it. <laughs> but we, but we didn't do that. We have a whole thing. Well, like we don't. Yeah. We're not miming spaghetti. Yeah, it's it, like we're doing no, now. We're no, using real spaghetti. It's enough time. Enough time passes that but you could go. But we didn't. But Dan, we didn't do that. Yeah. We didn't do that. You don't We didn't get use it. a strap. We didn't use a glue. We just had a plate, and it was stuck on my hand. We didn't do anything that you. Why don't you just come see the show, man? I saw it again. Why don't you come see the show again? Why did you see it right? You gotta see it. You see it all fucked see up. See the show through the better eyes than you've seen it. Through. We didn't. You don't understand. It was a real trick. Yeah. By the way, the night I came to the show, they were doing this to strangers in the lobby. <laughs> well, hey, you it's know, been running for five years. It's like years, the Blue but, Man Group in yeah, a way. Yeah. The show starts when you get into the lobby. No, but it, no, I mean, it's. And there are shows where there's a show a Rob. This show is in Vegas, it's in, and it's it, not even us. It's yeah, we got other guys playing it's us. It's two guys. They're not even named Rob. It's Boston. A, well, I saw Vegas. the one. I saw the one in Phoenix that was uh, Stan, That's a Stanley show. Tucci and David Cross. That's yeah. a shit show. Now, Rob those and Rob, guys, fu- those guys, they are do like, it all fucked up. We're working on it. Yeah, with, Rob, tr- Rob and Rob, like like the Blue Man Group. I heard like the, your show is like the Blue Man Group was the ones we see in Vegas, yeah. New York, Chicago. It's a little more watered down yeah. than the original yeah. stuff. That's true. I, I heard yeah. you guys had a more hardcore version of your yeah. show before yeah. you guys started playing big markets. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. You heard that. You heard... <laughs> I mean, who, who didn't hear that? Yeah. No. That, that, that's the review that everybody heard. Everybody's heard that. Can yeah. you guys do the scene? Rotten Tomatoes can loves you, us. Can you, do, <laughs> can you do the scene? I heard it was more hardcore. Go ahead. What scene do you want to see? Well, what scene? I think you know. It's the one that do the hard, the controversial scene. scene. Yes, the, the controversial scene. That, scene. The scene that you guys weren't allowed to do. It's why you softened up your <sighs> show so the, much. The, re- the reason BuzzFeed and Salon came down on you yeah. guys. Yeah. It's oh, really. Boy. You're gonna. You're gonna because pull it's that. out of context. I get it. Like, but you shouldn't. But uh, so that's why I say it's your choice if you want to do it. I mean, I guess. Nah, we won't. We can. No. 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 No, uh, I guess we won't. No? It's really racist. No, what That's are you going to Why? Hey, why, why, Dan, why? That's a great stage picture. Why, <laughs> stage <laughs> picture. Hey, That's great. why do that? No, Dan, Dan. Why give that? Why this give is that? why we have a big feud. Why? Because he doesn't know how to Dan, present a Dan, stage picture. Why, why, why buy the cow? Why buy the cow? Why buy the cow? Why, why buy the, the cow? That's the name of the scene. Why buy the cow? That's the name of the scene. It's called Why, why buy the cow? Buy yeah. Why, why buy the, the cow? cow? Why buy the cow? Why, why buy the cow? Buy why buy it? The cow. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, Dan, let, let, let it happen. Let it happen. You, no, drop, I, you drop a beat, man. I Dan, feel like you, you don't a beat. get us, man. You drop a beat and I'll, I'll yeah. fucking do it. I feel like you don't get us. Just to be clear, that was not the controversial scene. That was... That was, no, that was just it some, it, that was some bullshit I just pulled out of my ass. Yeah, that's how good I our didn't, I didn't show even, is. I didn't even workshop that. Man. Yeah, I just fucking did it. He the, just made that up. Right, our written show is must be way better than that. It twice as good. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this is no. the this is the do the original like the first workshop you guys did of the. Oh, this is rough. Where, where you guys were just, rough. Where you guys were spitballing. You guys were just. 
throwing it out there. Three in the morning. Quarter to four. Ow! 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 These are the times that I'm loving you. Three o'clock, three thirty. Quarter to four. Getting dirty. These are the times that I'm loving you. I love you till the morning too. I like to break your body down till the break of dawn. Dawn, I'm gonna take you out on the front lawn. I'm gonna roll you around like a mower. I'm gonna fuck you faster and slower. Gonna put you upside down, right side up. Gonna fuck your titty so hard they turn into a cup of cup of cup of take 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 back the nights. Oh shit. Batman. Oh, take back the night. Fuck. Yes. Batman. 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 Superman. Batman. Batman. Superman. Batman. 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 Got a problem. Ben. Batman. Batman. Superman. Batman. Take Henry. back the night. Henry. Superman. Came down from the floor. In the and up from the ceiling. He's an alien. He does it that way. Henry Sad Affleck in the morning. Sad Affleck in the night. Realizing what his life has become. Sad Affleck in the morning. Jen Garner Sad doesn't Affleck. need him no more. Sad Affleck. Sad Affleck. Sad Affleck. Sad Affleck. Gonna give you a Sad Affleck. Damon. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Damon. It's a good show. It's a good show. That was written four four years ago too. It's not a terrible show. So, Rob's, uh, w- w- you guys have more dates back on the uh, West End. Like, h- how long is your run going on? Yeah, oh, fuck shit. some chick. Uh, April. All the Aprils. You're doing April. Yeah, I did April. So we, we, All we, the Mays. What's the show called again? I forget. Uh, Rob times two. Yeah. Rob, <laughs> Rob squared. Rob Rob times that's two. The, Rob that's, it was either that, of those. What was that? I thought it was too many Robs. What? Too many robs is what it's called. It's a different title every night. Yeah. You saw yeah. one and a half shows? Colin Quinn is directing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so pube trimming update. We talked about pube trimming last Pube week. trim update. Hey, so? Oh, man. I'm sorry about my cough. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Rob uh, Cordry, I'm so glad you're here. I'm gonna love it. I love this guy. <laughs> it's, love it's, it. It's like it's all happening. He controls the music. He really does. I I, I comp control the music. I love it. You comp control the shit out of this. <laughs> hey man, uh, oh. I, I haven't I haven't trimmed my pubes yet, uh, <laughs> but I looked at them for the nice. first time through new eyes. Sorry, Dan. It'll 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 be hard for the audience to uh, listen concentrate while Shrab is making a. A, a pantomime drink. <laughs> well, just take the cup and scoop it. You could just Why scoop. Have the tongs? That's a holdover from the tetanus bucket. <laughs> I, I didn't trim my. Uh... Don't mind me. Just... Oh, what's that? Ho- yeah, listen, I listened to that episode, uh, most of that episode today about the trimming and the washing, and I'm really did, interested in. Did you agree that I was being bullied? Oh, uh, no, I don't know. I think <laughs> you maybe have, might have, but I was, I felt like in my car listening, I was being a little bullied too. So maybe that's what you were feeling. Are you a, do you want to talk about your, your pube regimen? Yeah, I would like to. How, I would Rob like Cordry, to. how are you being pube bullied? Hashtag well, pube I felt bullied. like I related to Dan in that I don't pay much attention to that. And I have a Gotta wife. Gotta pay attention. I'm, I gotta know. pay attention. I'm married gotta to a pay woman. Attention. 
who tells me that it's not a big thing. Mm, that's code you know? for it is a big thing. <laughs> but, but it's I, a huge thing. But I think that it's if we, not a big thing that you keep the but I, toilet but I, seat up. But I do think, and this is not me bullying you. This is me like Go coming ahead. to you like an AA, going like, "Hey, cool. man, oh, I shit. know that look." Like, if we waited for them to ask, like, we're not good people, right? Right. Like, we should we, just we should do it. Thinking about I've it. done like, it sometimes. I did it. When I've I done was it like, at times. I did it when I was like twelve because they started coming in. I was Ooh. like, "Get them out of here!" <laughs> oh no! I, I no. shaved my legs. I was like, "Fucking me. Like, like, I, it's like not I me. I was, I was pushing the hair up on <laughs> my legs so that it would look like I had more hair on my legs because I had masculinity I issues. I looked. I looked at my pubes for the for through these eyes after that episode. Not, not too shabby, I, huh? You know, it's like. <laughs> Not not too shabby. Well, it's not too it's not too shrubby. It's, it's no, it's, no. Like, it's 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 okay. You might not have an issue. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it later. Do you? What's it like? For me down there? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like Larry from the Three Stooges. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because before this was gray, it was like yeah. kind of dark red. And it's and there's a dick in the middle of it, yeah. so it, it, so it kind of it looks yeah. like Larry from the Three Stooges. But it's all um, it gets a little dready. Yours Whoa. does dreadlocky. Yours? I feel like, yeah. And I shave it, but I shave it. I feel like I'm just shaving it for me. You, you know, because you get I you, can't you, do you, the balls. You, you get dreadlocks down there. I get yeah it because becomes, I, it becomes, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not trying to be offensive. You don't seem like a very hairy fellow. Like 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 you. Oh like, fuck you, man. yeah, I, Jeff. You're 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 thin on top, but your dreadlocks down yeah. low. Yeah, yeah. For real? yes. I have a I have an insane amount of pubic hair. <laughs> Lot lots of lots of bald men do. <laughs> do you too, Rob? I I I, I, I mean like I get hair. Everywhere yeah. else, yeah. is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I would never have. I, like, yeah. I mean, you know, it's like that's racist. Ear. I get. I'm only being uh, incredulous. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. I love yeah, that. yeah. So you um, guys, well, uh, you guys have giant dreadlocky, thick thatches of pubic hair. I yeah. have huge, huge, huge thatch of pubic hair. <laughs> you right. do. It's disgusting. You do. <laughs> And, uh, he does. I he just does. don't know what to do with. You got to uh, trim that more. You guys often. may listen to that. Isn't, episode, isn't that part maybe. of your, your, your two man show where you guys deal with that issue? Or? Yeah. You want to uh, see that? Yeah. Okay. 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 I, I, I do. I don't give away the whole show, but yeah. If this is, I'm not gonna. Do it. Okay. Right. Need to. <laughs> <laughs> what? How are we? Cordry was about to go there. Yeah, yeah. Schraub demurred. I, I, yeah. You demurred. There's only one. Who, he gets really the, nervous during that part of the show. Right. All right. All right. So I have Rob, to, I have to right, warm up for a day. <laughs> Brace yeah. myself. Come on, knock it off. Yeah, come on. Let's knock it off. It's here. so funny. <laughs> oh. Let's knock it off. Stop oh. it. Stop it, please. Yeah. How dare? How dare? How dare I you spend all week talking? talking. How I. <laughs> <laughs> so Rob Cordy, you, you, you listened to the episode and you said, "Oh, I, I identify with that." I wish I was here. Yeah, I wish I had been. Are here we just going to talk about pubes? All are we, are we, are we, <laughs> no, again? but what I want to get it, <clears throat> is uh, is uh, is our late guest here, uh, uh, the, the guy that dispenses lozenges. <laughs> I know. I have a fucking sore throat. Jesus, you guys! Somebody I'm hitting hot just, tea. Who, who's our, who, we have more guests? Yeah, we have a million more guests. All right. Well, let's bring up uh, the one, the one. Let's uh, the one waiting in the wings. Right. Can uh, I pee while uh, this one comes up? Yeah, yeah I guess. Go, go, yeah. I, I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, yes. go ahead. Go ahead. You're allowed. You're allowed to take yeah. pee breaks. You don't go, go think ahead. So. <laughs> this is sort of a this is a bit we're doing. I don't want to spoil it, but you guys are familiar with like Sasha Baron Cohen. Like Rob Corddry's gonna come back as this character. <laughs> But I want you to know that because it's so convincing that people don't get the joke. So I want people to know this is like no, yeah. this is like uh, uh, you know Bob Zamuda like like doing Tony Clifton. Yeah. This is like okay. So now that Rob Corddry has left the stage, <laughs> we're going to bring up a whole different person. He's a Chicago improv instructor. Uh, who has a blog and a podcast about such nonsense and interviews, uh, does a lot of in intimate interviews with uh, people. Please welcome Jimmy Corain. 
Oh my God, that's amazing. Wow. Okay, Jimmy Curry. <laughs> what's the quotes? What's the quotes about? The cut. Co- well, you're Jimmy Curry. Okay. You're not. You're 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 not Rob Corddry. <laughs> Hi, Dan. <laughs> good to be here. <laughs> I, I, I now I feel bad because you, you, I don't think you heard the bit. No, I was, I was back saying. there. Oh. I'm just slow. I'm on I'm, Chicago time. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, how are you? You interviewed me once for your podcast. Yeah. Uh, nerd, 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 nerd. Improv nerd. Improv yeah, nerd. Yeah. And can I just share something about you? Yes. Is it okay? Yes. We go? Okay. I yes. Know. Okay. Great. Right. <laughs> so I go to your house, nice house, and we go there. What? <laughs> What I the let him fuck, in. man? I le- he said it was a nice that's, house. That's not cool. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. Super fine. easy to get okay. in his house. Okay, man. Okay. <laughs> so you live in this structure, okay? It's a decent structure, okay? And uh, I get there, and you're really nice. You, uh, you let me in. <laughs> your, your, your bar is low. Right. right. And it's uh-huh. three in the afternoon, and you have all the lights off, all right? And we're going to sit down for the interview, and we're about to start it. And there's like a, a little crack of light coming through one of the the the. Uh, there's a shade that's got about two inches, and all of a sudden you go, wait, 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 before we start. And you get up and you pull the shade down to make it completely dark. <laughs> now, what is that about? Let me let me answer that. Okay. He hates all brightness and sunlight. He hates that. He just doesn't want any bright light. He doesn't I, like it. Well, it... It hurts I, your eyes. That room where, where the light comes out, that's the room where he keeps all of his joy? Yeah. Yeah. And, and he has to pull that shade down to make I'm sure not, no I'm, joy escapes. I'm not a big daylight guy. I he doesn't like sun. He doesn't like sunshine. I call... You know what I call the sun? What? Yellow Hitler. Mm. <laughs> that's two times racist. I don't like it. It... it, 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 it it's... <laughs> It, it seeks to invade and annex my my life. I'm like I'd be so much happier just working like at night. I, I would I'd understand that the sun is important on some levels to life on Earth. Right. I do get that. Okay. But personally, I find it offensive. I really do. It's bright and hot. And it's ridiculous. So, but if you if you went into a room. And someone had put a giant ball of flaming gas in the corner. You would be like, "Can can someone deal with this?" But don't you get don't you get depressed? Like I'm from Chicago, and if I don't get enough sunlight, I get that seasonal affect disorder. You don't get depressed at all. I'm too narcissistic. Uh, the the sun doesn't cheer me up. It competes with me. <laughs> I don't. Wow. Get, I don't get depressed. I get, I, get, I, like, I get depressed when the sun starts fucking, uh, fucking up my shit. I'm like, get out of here, yellow Hitler. What do you want? And it's like, I've been here for eight billion years. And I'm like, I'll, what, I'll, I'll, pull, I'll, I'll take your word for it. What have you done for me lately? There's a new sun in town. All right, so th- that's your secret, is just being narcissistic? I don't know. I genuinely like. I'm, I have a vitamin D deficiency. I just got diagnosed with it, because, and it's probably obviously because you I, hate I, because you hate yellow Hitler. So I much. really am very sensitive to light and uh, heat and stuff. I, I, I'd rather be hot than cold, but I, I just I, you know I, I like. I'm, I'm with Dan. I don't like the sun either. I don't like going out, doing things. <laughs> I associate I associate the outdoors with a lot of rigmarole, like just a lot of just a lot of non Commodore sixty four programming, uh, a lot of a lot of just like why can't you hit this ball with this stick? What's wrong with you? And there's no like give me a typewriter. I like it's a, it just it's just like it's bright and it's like everything out there is fake and and bullshit and like when your your dad survived the polio epidemic and he so he has one withered leg and those moments when he does try out of father guilt to, to take you in the front yard and throw the baseball with you it's like really embarrassing and that's like I, I, I associate the son with social anxiety uh, uh, guilt shame bullying recess was the worst like I as bad as school was it was like the bell would ring and everyone would go yay we get to go outside and play more baseball than in gym class you fucking assholes 
I, I would just find the darkest like bush that I could find, and like there'd be two other kids in there, and they'd go, "Did you see Jaws again?" Yeah, I did. I saw it as much as I fucking could. I can't wait to watch Jaws again. So, so turning all the lights out at three o'clock in the afternoon, you're recreating your childhood, basically. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to d- d- deprive my senses and, and enter a, co- a more comfortable zone. I hid under my bed until I was 24. <laughs> Did you see Rob's biopic, Powder? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to. Get, I'm trying. This to... is getting ridiculous here. <laughs> Somebody's playing a Somebody. joke. Somebody, <laughs> put, put your glasses back on. This is. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wait, he's not. Cordry, get with what it. What do I do? Come What if the world ended I, I after I want to talk to you guys. I couldn't figure out what the monkey did. How can, my I, monkey. how can I get the Chicago franchise of your show? I know there's a, there's a bidding war going on right now. Yeah. That's why I'm out here in L.A. Uh, depends really? on yeah. uh, what you can yeah. do what's for your, us. What's your, <laughs> it also what's de- your deal? Uh, uh, it depends on what your favorite number from their, got? From their show is. I mean, if you wanted them. Jeff I love keeps the, trying to force What is your favorite number? From our I love the ending number. I think the ending <laughs> oh, number. Oh, oh, shit. The ending number. I mean, that's. It's very sad. <laughs> it's a very sad. It's sad. Jimmy, do you think that Chicago can afford no. the rights to the ending number of Rob Cordray and this Rob Schrock? Maybe for a weekend. We could do like a weekend we, run. We but that's weekend Yeah, we run. could do like a limited run. Yeah. I can do that. But me and Schraub would do it. Right? I mean, yeah. Is, is, is it fair <laughs> to. You can play David Cross's part. <laughs> Thank you. God, what if, if there Which was, was originally possible to get David Cross like in here? Like, it'd be right amazing. now? Oh, God, if David Cross is li- watching... If he walked if he, in, if he's it a would, subscriber... The, the, the special effects from Time Cop would start happening, and you guys would all start turning into pudding. <laughs> what, is that what you're trying to do to me right now? I you want try- you to know what it's like. <laughs> I love it. I'm in heaven. I wish every day was like this. <laughs> this is the best. Your glasses don't fit. Hey, Jimmy. They yes, don't fit my face. Yes, Dan. <laughs> yes, Dan. What is, uh, <laughs> like, uh, what is the, when you teach an improv class, mm-hmm. uh, what's the, what is, what is the first thing you start with? Is Timing. The... <laughs> yes, I start with timing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, do, do you ever te- do you teach people just off the street anymore, or do you just no? Teach no, I, I become that good. I don't have to teach off the street anymore. You just teach. Just you, you just teach. You teach people. People that, are, that pay, Dan. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm looking for. Basically. Jimmy, where, where do you teach? Where in Chicago? Do you I teach. teach uh, I actually teach for myself. I teach at uh, Stage Seven Seven Three in Green Shirt Studio. Yeah. And do, do you do uh, like like I'm assuming long form because you're Chicago. Yes, I do long form. Yes. And is, is there? Do you do the heraldy thing, or do you do your own? Like just let let things be what they are. Through? I do. I do something called the artist low comedy, which is basically let's just be, let's you know uh, slow it down a little, not trying to be funny, and it's just gonna it'll, it'll happen organically. It's listening, right? Exactly. The, I, I I what did you say? Exactly. <laughs> the the do people know people know you have a, an improv background? And you go all the way back to comedy sports in Milwaukee. But it's right? all yeah. Well, they that's put, where yeah, we you know, met. It's short form though, but I always when I go to see it. Well, what I want, one thing I wanted to ask you, <laughs> okay, uh, because I think this is important. Like because, like if it, you're you're in Chicago, you're at the epicenter of uh, long good long form improv in L.A., where it's not necessarily a you know, but 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 you tell tell these kids listening if they live in L.A., where would you recommend they go if they want to see the in your opinion, just like creme de la creme, long form improv in Chicago or Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Oh, Los Angeles. Uh, I think the UCB is got is 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 just great. Rob, do, yep. they, do they still do they they do ASCAT, right? Yeah, they do every Sunday night. And then I think competing there's some, with this show. There, there's some shows at the I O West. Uh, Weird Das with Bob Dassey and Stephanie Ware. Yeah. 
They're uh, Dasa Risky, which is, uh, he was on Community, Craig Kakowski, Rich Tellerico, and Bob They're the Dassey. best improvisers. Yeah. Those three? Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I, I saw Stephanie Weir do a thing with, uh, you, know, you know Joe Bill? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah from and, Chicago. Uh, uh, Mark Sutton, uh, the uh, Bass Prov. Yeah. Where there's two, two guys sitting in a, in a fake boat and just talk forever. And Stephanie Weir came on and she absolutely killed it. And then they asked me to be on it. I was like, "No, I'm scared." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because like that's that, that's really like ballsy improv. I did a show with Stephanie years ago at, called Naked. It was uh, just two of us. We did one long scene. It was in your apartment. Yes. <laughs> the laws the laws were different back then, Dan. Uh, it's a long form long form bathtub scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was no li- there was no lighting. It was dark. You would have liked it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it was she was the she was one of the best improvisers I've ever worked with. Yeah, it, the uh, the amount of like self control and, and and for real listening and eye contact and w- letting things build based on like absolute attention is really amazing. There's uh, a, not, not something we, we do here. Why were, no, I was no. talking. <laughs> Reverse. <laughs> there is a, it, it is it's about listening because when I watch long form improv. And people are good at it. I'm like, how the fuck? Like, like, there's no. I can only think about one thing at once, and and and, and at a time. And uh, like, like for instance, how to construct a sentence. The, <laughs> You're the, doing great, Dan. But if I, it, when when I'm off stage in those moments, if I'm doing it, it's like, it's like I, I can't. I'm like, like, if somebody says like, this is great soup, and then I'm, I'm like, soup, 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 soup. Dot connecting soup, and then like they're talking about all kinds of shit, and the other person saying something like, you have to actually absorb it and process. It, the same things that make you good at long form improv are the things that, that that probably make you a good person in like a conversation. I, I know some great long form improvers that I wouldn't call like great like socially like interactive people. Like there's, you, there, there is an ability to like really focus, and also you can be any kind of person and be good at long form improv. I think. And here's another rule about long form improv: <laughs> always let the guest speak. The, and that's why it's oh sorry I don't know. <laughs> no but you're, you're uh, like for me like for the, the podcast Improv Nerd I've had I've interviewed over like 180 people and and I don't you know I don't have a journalist well everybody ad- has but yeah. 100, well, 180 noteworthy people yes yes thank you Dan <laughs> um, and of course I got into podcasting for the money you know <laughs> yes uh, I went from public radio and I'm like you know what this podcasting there's more money than public radio they should call it cha-ching casting yeah they really, they really, they really but you I do think one, that sounds racist you do one <laughs> slightly racist that's but, why they don't do it I think no, that's yeah, my theory yeah but you're podcasting so you can get away with racist stuff that you can't get on terrestrial radio if you get away with it it's demanded of me yes yeah <laughs> they want, if, I, if I don't feed these people racism they'll, know, they'll go I over know. to Marin yeah exactly <laughs> People were lined up in front tonight. Like, we want more racism. We want it. And I didn't want to tell you this, but that's what they're looking for. Build that wall. Drill, yeah, baby, yeah, drill. Yeah. Harmon, Harmon, Harmon. Because right. you're going to come out and endorse Trump in a couple minutes. I, did I give it away? I, that, look, I've been endorsing him since he was in Pizza Hut commercials. <laughs> I, 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 was like, I was like, can we elect him to do all pizza commercials? Why right. does he have to be just P- Pizza Hut? Right. <laughs> I, I, I was I was the first person to sign the make him oranger uh, right. petition. Right. So I want him to be so orange that he's a literal orange. Yeah. Is it and, okay to say that tonight's proceeds are going to his campaign? Absolutely. Okay. If you stepped in this building, you helped him uh, take over the world and kill minorities. Yeah. Kill minorities. <laughs> kill. Minorities. It oh, okay. feels I, bad when you make me repeat it. Yeah, it does. It's even worse feel, when that's the, feel the title of this episode. It's called Kill Minorities. Kill Minorities. I don't even want to say it because I would feel really bad. Uh, can, can I share something what happened <laughs> when I flew in to, for this show? Can I? Yes, you, okay. you can. I, all right. You flew in for this show? I did. I don't have much going on Far out, in, in yeah. Chicago. <laughs> so... Uh, I, if you listen to the podcast, you know I have a lot of low self-esteem. And so I was feeling a lot of shame when I, uh, because I was thinking about an interview I had just done. Uh, and so I wrote on the top of my notebook uh, that uh, I, I want to die. And somebody who was sitting across the, the aisle saw it and went to the back of the, um, 
the, the airlines, and then uh, the, the, the flight attendant comes and says, can we see you in the back? Jesus Christ. I, I swear to God, this is true. And she's like, oh, finally, it's like Rosemary's baby back there. Yeah. Like, We've been waiting for you. Yeah, yeah. So I say, you know, you got a problem. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, well, we hope not. All right. So yeah, then I both go, sides of this conversation are ill. Right. You guys were both saying exactly the wrong thing. Right. Do we right. have a problem? I hope not. Right, right. So, um, so I go back to the, you know, they take me all the way back to where the bathrooms are at the back of the plane, and now it's three um, flight attendants, and she's the head flight. So attendant. hot, dear yeah. penthouse. <laughs> and so I want to die because my dick's so big. Yeah. <laughs> That's the detail you left out. <laughs> <laughs> can you? Can you? I need a character witness at court. So, if in case, I'm going to call you. So, it also, when, it, when I was also, uh, I had my, my uh, phone out, my, what is this? Dick, thing? your dick. Dick. You can okay. say dick. Okay. I thought it was a podcast. I know no, no, playing. you okay. can say anything. It's... So, I had my, um, my iPhone out, and I was timing myself. So, she goes, all right, someone complained that you had written, you, uh, you want to die, and why did you have your, your cell phone out on a timer? And I said, because I was meditating. Which was, a to which was totally true. She says, well, you know, this is really serious, whatever. So I go back and I sit, in the, I sit back in, in my seat. And I, like, I know the, pe the, the guy who's, who's doing it, but I don't want to make eye contact. Wait, with can, you, can you rewind? Because yes. I just, in that moment, which mm -hmm. is really crucial, because they summoned you back and they said all that stuff and you're, you're getting to a destination in the story. But at that moment, what the fuck? Good because, question. Because they're like, like, you wrote this and why are you timing? I was meditating. And then you, and you, I, she's like, well, this is a big deal. And then you go back to your seat. Like, uh, no, how did that conversation no, really yeah, end? No, there's there's a, some suicidal thoughts in there, Dan. And then there's like, oh my God, what the fuck? have I done? No, but like, what is she saying? Well, what is happening in that moment that before you go back to your seat? I'm like, as much dialogue as you can remember of that seat. Is I'm going back to the seat? No, no, before you go back to the seat. Before I... These people have summoned you from your seat oh, to okay. the back of the plane. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what. I'm like, what, what have I done? Part of me thinks maybe they're going to upgrade me to first class, but I know that's a stretch. <laughs> that's a total stretch. Wow. <laughs> but I'm saying like in the moment... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fascinated by this so, moment. So, so you said, you're not a well, this is a big deal. And you went, uh-huh, and just faded back? That's that's the part what? that I'm talking about. Say, right. Because yeah. that sounds like just no. like, it's, it sounds like I'm about to find out that life is controlled by a, an eight-year-old playing with Barbie dolls. No. No. Well, this is a big deal. Okay. No. 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 I'm, I'm there glad, must be more to that. No, I'm glad you cleared that up. That I don't want to give that impression. It was not. It wasn't that at all. It was what the. I, I'm in trouble. I have been summoned by the principal. I don't know what it is, but if, if authority has asked me to go to the back of the airplane, I must have done something wrong. Right. <laughs> but in that moment, okay. Wait, okay. Can we do? Right. Can we? Do I'm a, with you. I'm with can you. Can we here. do an improv? I will yeah. be the flight attendant. Okay. Great. Great. I got, okay. Sir. So, well, first of all, so we, okay. We, can we, I? We, I'm gonna. You, I'm gonna sit on this like I'm really sitting in the seat. Okay. Because I'm. Okay, more, we'll start there. Okay. Okay. Good. Great. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we're traveling at thirty-five thousand feet, cruising altitude. Um, uh, if you look out to the left, you'll see the Grand Canyon. Uh, um, no. uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked to inform you that one of the microphones is available. Uh, some of the people addressing you are not pilots. <laughs> and hello, I passengers. I'm your captain. <laughs> A great way to know who your captain is if. He refers to you as ladies and gentlemen. That's not your captain. Ladies yeah, that's and gentlemen. Clearly. Uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Gentlemen, uh, despite what you may have heard. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is Captain Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> don't listen to those squares trying to tell you what to do. Boop. 
This is Captain Evil. Oh, oh you! Captain Awesome, we meet again! <laughs> well, oh. you won't find me. I'm gonna hide behind this chair. Well, Captain Awesome, did you realize that there's a person who might have suicidal tendencies? No, I didn't. Yeah, he's writing down some weird shit. Well, we better get somebody on that. Who do we have there? We have our best flight attendant on the job. Oh, my God. Hi, guys. It's Stacy. As you can probably hear, there's some drama in the cockpit. (laughs) Captain Evil and Dr. Awesome are flying the plane. They go at it like cats in a bath, mm. but they are oh. great, and they oh. have landed yeah. over 500. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. So just return to your things. The other two captains were just crazy people with a microphone, uh. but those have been turned off. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll go about your cabin and ha- have a have a bun. <clears throat> Ex- excuse me. Boom. Sir. I didn't. I didn't get a bun. <laughs> Just walked right by me. Just walked right by me. Just looked right at. Just walked right by. Me. I didn't get a bun. Sir, can, can I see your ticket? Me. This is a drawing of a plane in crayon. Read the bottom. I love you too, sir, but. This is Captain Evil. We are now flying directly into the sun. Sorry, I gotta go. That's not true. We have, we have 30 minutes to live. Okay, everybody, this is Stacy. That's not true. <laughs> the plane is nowhere near the sun. That, that would make it a spaceship. We are, we'll be landing in California, in a, 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 and I won't tell you the city. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> in about five hours. Go about your business, and let's continue with the original reason for the... Uh, 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 excuse me, sir. Um, yeah, hi. Uh, yes. Could you see us in the back of the plane? Is there a problem? Uh, you have a problem? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just asking. I you hope, throw I, hope I hope there I, won't be a problem. I, I've been flying. So you want to throw down with me? <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> this is Captain Evil. You are free to move about the plane. Sir, I think this. Just if you could just follow me, we just want to speak with you for a moment. There's nothing. There's no need to get aggro. <laughs> aggro, sir. Don't, don't, don't act like you don't know the lingo. I, I, I don't. Sir, what's your name? Why do you want to know my name? You're Jimmy Corain, aren't you? Yes. I know. I'm a flight attendant. <laughs> Why were you so evasive? I was just hoping you'd recognize me. Oh, Jimmy. (laughs) See what I've written down on my notebook? Oh, sir, I love you too. (laughs) All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is gone. Yeah, I know. We we edited. Come on, start over, you jackasses. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, so look out for the Grand Canyon. Oh, wow. So, excuse me. Yes. Hi. Um, um, would you mind? Oh, sorry. What? Yeah. No. no, no. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were coming on to me. You were like flirting with me. What the fuck? No. I'm serious. Um, you brought me water twice. I never asked for water in this napkin. Um, I need to talk to someone. I, well, I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. Not you. Oh. I'll be right back. Okay. Stacy, what's going on? What's going on? Rebecca? Yeah, it's me, Rebecca. I'm on the wing. Shh, I want to... <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Can you let me in? It's freezing out here. Oh, hold on. There, there's a woman on the wing. Yes. There's a woman. Okay. <laughs> oh. Rebecca! Yes, yes, yes. This is Captain Evil. Everything is okay. <laughs> Rebecca, there's this really weird guy. He gave me a really weird vibe. 
what happened? What happened? Just tell me what happened. I don't know. He said. He said. I think he thinks that I uh, mean something. This always happens to me. I brought him let, two let, waters. He took it as a thing. It always happens to me. Why let me talk to him. Like, let's go talk to him. Let's go. Let's bring him in the back. Oh, are you talking? Okay. <laughs> Are you coming? Keep closing the door on me. Okay, where's this where's this man here? Where is he? He's in 3D. Oh the th- boom! Wait, and, 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 but he, in, he's in seat 22F. I just wanted you to know he's not he, he's not flat. Okay. Ironically, the person seated in 3D, which is first class, is famous for his it's, it's, uh, 2D animation. <laughs> He's in 22F, the okay. weirdo. He has a thing written on his notebook that okay, says he wants to kill himself. Oh my God, that is serious. I've never handled I'm going to take, a, I'm I'm gonna take care of it. I'm going to hand out pineapple. <laughs> pineapple, do you want to go with him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, Rebecca. Hi, Pineapple. I'm going to go with you. Let's all three go together to talk to Let's the Let's the three of us go together. Okay, yeah. but I'm standing behind you. Okay. Okay. Excuse uh, me, sir. Hey. Oh, you Hello. brought your friends, huh? Yeah, could you? You're showing me off. Yes. Could you come, could you come to the back of the plane, please, where the, the toilets are? Yeah. Can you come back? Can you come the, by the toilets? Can you come by the toilets? We my need to see you in the back of the plane, the, sir. Yeah, can we? Can you follow us? Would you mind? Can you no, take? No, I don't. I don't have a sir, problem. Sir, will you mind? please? No. Will you please sir, come to the back of the sir, plane. Sir, please stop come to the talk to you. I stop. I said, resisting. You're making pineapple. I said sour. The back of the plane, Why are you sir? being a problem, sir? You're souring pineapple. I, I just. I said yes. I said yes like twelve. My times. name's pineapple. <laughs> Come to the back of the plane. Come to the back okay, of I'm the coming. Plane. I'm going to lead. I just want to get my personal things before Bing, I go. Do you don't need we are beginning things. our descent into the surface of the sun. You got 35 We better points. hurry up. That's not true. We're going to hurry up. Here we are at the back of the plane. Sir, sir, sir. I have your notebook right here. I'm holding it. Sir, You're, sir. Wait a second. What were you mouthing, Rebecca. Stacey? I was mouthing her words because I'm shy. I thought you said I love you. No, no fuck God damn it. Sir, why did you... Sir, why did you... Sir, you're all fucked up. Sir. <laughs> sir. I'm fucked up and your name is Pineapple? My name's Pineapple. Sir. <laughs> My name is Pineapple. Can I ask why? God damn it. You don't have to get defensive. I'm defensive. Why yes. did you write I want to die on your notebook? All right, let's get to why the did meat you do of that? it. Why did you do this? Why would you ever do that? Pineapple. It's a terrible thing to write. Pineapple. <laughs> Go ahead. I wanted the attention. <laughs> he from wanted someone. the attention. Oh. From someone. Okay. Well, I understand that. My name's Pineapple. <laughs> oh, yeah. That never gets you any attention. <laughs> Bing, boom. Yeah, I understand that. My name is Captain Evil. I mean, I mean, yeah. who, 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 who's zooming who? <laughs> who's zooming who here? If I don't get something, if I don't get something I like, I'm going to kill myself. Oh, jeez. Stacy. Stacy looks like this is all on you, Stacy. Stacy, don't do this. Stacy, Stacy, be professional, Stacy. Don't, don't whore out again, Stacy. Don't fuck this up. Don't Stacey. be a whore. Don't Stacy. I know that look in your eyes. Stacy, stop. Don't do it. Don't give in to being don't a do whore. It. Oh, Stacy, don't whore out. Stop. Oh. Time. <laughs> Oh, jeez, Stacy! Oh my God, I stopped time. <laughs> Ping pong. The same thing is happening. Captain Evil? Yes. 
I stopped time. Can I come in? <laughs> um, when? <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> It's about time I started doing things for me. <laughs> Resume time! Pineapple. Sasquatches. Size Pineapple. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. I don't want you to kill yourself. I'd only kill myself if you didn't say what you just said. <laughs> this seems like a perfectly healthy relationship. <laughs> We should build an entire, like, 50 years on this and involve children and strangers. I'd kill myself if you left me. It's almost like we're dependent at the same time on each other. Sounds great. I realize now that I got into the air travel biz. Because Miss. <laughs> Sorry, I... Rebecca, let's stop. Stop time program. only for you! Scrigget, 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 Parachute compartment. Do not tamper with parachutes. Sharpie pen container. <laughs> That's what you get when you fuck with me. Resume time for her! <laughs> This is Captain Evil. If you look at the left side of your plane, you'll see Samantha safely parachuting to her, to her not death. She's fine. She's fine. She has a parachute. It's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. We were at a low enough altitude. She's going to be all right. Natalie. This is Samantha, right. I think. Uh, or maybe Rebecca, I'm not sure. Stacy, possibly. I may be Stacy. Hello, yes. Are you falling much? I, I am falling. I'm falling, but this parachute has something written on it. Uh, okay. Oh, for come. Oh, this yeah. is yeah. Uh, yeah. so yeah. real nice. Yeah. <laughs> Just real nice. Yeah. Real nice. Yeah. I bet you think you're pretty cool now. Yeah. Stopping time, being yeah. cool now. Yeah. I tried to help you. Yeah. I tried to help you with yeah. your with your disfigurement. Were you trying to help me? Yeah. When I, when I came, I'd said I'd say to uh, the pilot, you should watch BoJack Horseman, and you were like, that's <laughs> it's stupid, and you're like undercutting me, and I said you should watch you should watch uh, Baskets, and you're like that's stupid. <laughs> Like, you don't have good taste in comedy, and now you're going to have great taste in pavement. Well, I guess you win. I guess you win. I you get, don't uh, guess I guess I you win. win. I guess you win. I guess you win. I guess, what are you going to do with all that, that win? What are you going to do with that win now? You're going to, you're going to, you're going to buy a smile with that? Probably not, because you're a big fat piece of shit no one likes. You're a big fat piece of shit no one likes. And and all the customers hate you too. They tell me, tell me that you're a big fat piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Stop time for her! <laughs> Feel uh, air marshal cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Point break. Point break. Stop 
Time for me too! Resume time for both of us! Three hours later. So what do you make of this, Sergeant? Looks to me like girl met another girl, shot her, both exploded. But don't you think it all kind of started with that guy who kind of made a weird suicide note on the plane? Don't know what you're talking about. Work in this municipality just... uh, Underneath the isn't uh, anybody concerned also that this plane was being captained by t- a guy named Captain Awesome and Captain <laughs> Evil? I mean, what, what what kind of business are we running here? I didn't know there were planes involved. <laughs> I'm Woody Harrelson, <laughs> and I'm Pineapple. Well, with all due goddamn respect, Pineapple, why don't you either just do the goddamn police work or just shoot. do my job? <laughs> it's in the way that you use it. <laughs> those, are the, those are the credits. Yeah. So, Jimmy, is yes. that how it happened? Jimmy, is that. Great that. Great that. Ask you, I'm going to ask Rob great something. That. I'm going to ask you something. Go ahead. How many times do you think we could have edited that? Oh, Jesus. Because I was like, oh, my God, let's edit here. Right? Is, that Jesus. What, is that what you do as an instructor? You're like... Yeah. Well, you yeah. edit it. You stop the scene at a point where it really begged to be ended. Yeah. And I think we did... I mean, it was yeah. amazing because we, like, ran over <laughs> the body, kept... like, five, six, seven, yeah. eight times. It was amazing that... Because, like, in long form, once it hits, right, would you yep. say, yep. the, the, the you, laugh you just, cannot go any higher. It's so easy, you just run across the scene like that. Right. And it's done. <laughs> right. Yeah, but then we you got to get up. just done something like that. Then you yeah. got to get up and walk. Uh, no, I know. So you're trying to tell me a lady stopping time <laughs> while uh, her arch enemy is six feet above the pavement so that she can dive down with a gun, freeze time for herself next to the body, and then unfreeze time for both of them so that she ha- can have the pleasure of blowing her friend's brains out before they both hit the pavement. That wasn't worth 95 minutes of terrible <laughs> improv? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear for Jimmy Crane, everybody. Oh, Jimmy Crane! So listen, much. listen to his podcast on Feral Audio. Thank you. Thank also, you. <laughs> while we say goodbye to Jimmy, thank you so much, Jimmy. Let's bring out our other guest who just just arrived. Let's bring out Cameron Esposito. Oh. Oh. Yay! Yay! Oh. Yay! Well, boy. You like that? I th- I mean, I was in my suspense. It was, I was with you to the end. Hey, you know? I, played, I played a character named Pineapple. Oh, I heard the name of your character. And you. I thought it was believably your name. You Thank know, you. I just thought like the way you affect it. Thank it was mostly. It was a lot of the what you were doing. With, I really appreciate. Yeah, that. you're welcome. Cameron, do you think that that scene suffered from any structure problems? Did you, <laughs> did you, or do you think that that whole? No, up? I don't. Th- I will say that I was watching some of it on a little TV in there. And that the there was is off a bit. there was also just like a I don't know if you guys realize how much the three of you just look like a little team. Um, <laughs> we talked about just that. like three little just just you know what I mean just a, and you were on your own vibe and that was cool but it was just like a just a real it d- yeah. didn't like what do you it. mean it was just a real I think what I'm saying is it just looked like a real sitcom you know what I mean uh, yeah. Just a bunch of dudes. Um, so, Esposito. Bunch of similar white dudes. But it was called New Girl. They should have a... Yeah. And there was one girl, but like a bunch of dudes. The dudes kept moving in. Um, some of them were black. There were two Pineapple, black. Pineapple was a woman. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know. I just, I, you know, I, fair enough. I, <laughs> you're I, one of my. Uh, I, I'm caught. I sound like I'm dying for the whole thing. The, uh, you're one of my uh, CISO mates. You're doing a, you, yeah. you're, and you, you, your stand-up special. People are having to wait for Harmon Quest for a little bit, but you're, you just did a stand-up special, and it's on CISO. Yeah, it just came out. It's called Marriage. I just material. thought I randomly bring. You that should. That is not, of course, that's not why I'm here. What's I it, did not what, specifically. It called? It's called Marriage Material. Marriage Material. Isn't that a good name for a stand-up yeah. special? Yeah. I, I taped it two days before my wedding. How, so, oh, how is good. the marriage going for those who don't know Rhea Butcher, who uh, guest controlled a couple of episodes oh, yeah. ago? Um, shit, that's this that. guy was, he just goes, Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, she's great, right. I mean, it was just like either her or Tig, right? You know what I mean? I don't know if you listened to that episode, but in the middle of it, I was like, come on, you don't know Tig Notaro? And she's like, I swear I don't. I'm like, come on. She knows Tig. She lied to you. <laughs> One time Tig goes, cool shirt. And then the next time we saw Tig, she was totally wearing that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I want to like like so you yeah you married another comic and I did so uh, now you're what uh, six months into that marriage three only we've only been married for three months oh. yeah a little so honeymoon nascent. still and, but 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 like, sort of but you guys were were you cohabitating before that yes not yeah to, not to, living not together to, not to enforce the stereotype no right <laughs> well I mean we are lesbians but we waited <laughs> to, <laughs> to live together until marriage. Um, <laughs> How many how many golden retrievers do you guys have? <laughs> we just have one, but he's so small he only weighs eight pounds. Right. He's a teeny little guy. <laughs> is there uh, like I mean it's probably too early to tell us the answer, but once you're once you're under the same roof and you guys are both doing the same thing, like when do you are you do you ever worry about like that I, I don't know. It's friction, a major com- problem. Competition. Like, <laughs> I'm not kidding at all. It's a major problem. I had a girlfriend once, like, like 1999. I had a I had a TV pilot, and as a writer, she had a TV pilot at the same network, and we both we saw it coming, and I, and I sat her down and was like, "Look, it's absolutely impossible that both of our pilots are going to go. Hopefully, both of our pilots don't go. What if one of our pilots goes and the other one doesn't?" Let's consider that possibility now and make some rules. And and then uh, in my head, I, I now looking back, I realized that when I was having that talk with her, I was only doing it to prepare her for the absolute ine- inevitability that my pilot was going to go and hers wasn't. Her pilot was Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> oh. my, mine, that- was, mine was Heat Vision and Jack. And... And I couldn't fucking handle it. I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> so I, I'm wondering, like, two stand-ups, like, like, like yeah. on the same roof. Like, right. Are, do, do you worry? It's like, a lot of Malcolms. It for sure is. Do, um, do you guys talk about that? We talk about it all the time. I mean, I've known her. We met doing stand-up. So I knew, you know, I mean, obviously I knew this was what was always going to happen. I will say the the positive and those of you that have ever seen Rhea perform her, if you know her, she's, I mean, just brilliant. She's a brilliant comic. You. 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 Cameron, there's one of our fans who says yup a lot. Is that true? It means he likes it. Okay, great. It's like snarf on Thundercats. Right. To put it in lesbian terms. Wait, when I met... We never say snarf, but we do snarf a lot. <laughs> when I met, uh, when I met Rhea, we were wearing the same Wolverine boots. Yeah. And I was like, hey, we're wearing the same boots. Yeah. And she was like, yeah. And we started talking about the care of our boots. And then Cameron said, it's like, every dude that meets Rhea talks about boots. It is. And I was like, oh, shit. Well, do you know what is actually amazing? No, it's actually awesome to see because oh, I she hope so. is, in, like, on the spectrum of, of human people, she is, like, real, she's in a real James Dean area. And so, yeah. dudes, I, like... I felt cool because I was wearing the same boots yeah, that she exactly. was wearing. Dude, she's, like, she's either aspirational for men or men are flirting with her, but... I was a, kind of flirting with her, In a homoerotic way. I was. It's like, dude, I can just see She's also like, super hot. Yeah, she's, thank you. <laughs> she's fucking great. Great looking, yeah, she's yeah. beautiful. Um, no, she, has, but, she has she has cool style. You have cool style. So yeah, like, uh, 
Right. Like, we still have to iron out those rules. But by the way, I'm trying. I don't know what the <laughs> etiquette is. You, you, your wife's hot. Like, like, yeah, she's hot. She's hot. No, that's okay. It still feels like a wild is that west. Right? Uh, I will say. I mean. Yeah, I'll fucking. She's hot. I'll fucking take that all day long. Sure. <laughs> and, what and, an insult. And you vowed to. She wears great you, boots. How dare you say that? Cameron, right? can I ask you? A, can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. Uh, what, when you guys are snarfing, what, how, how does that work? <laughs> what, what does snarfing entail? Um. So. What it is is. Go ahead. We'll be right in the middle of looking into each other's eyes, right. and then we'll call a dude. Oh. Whoever, Any dude. guy on the street, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, our oldest friend. Man well, on the bus. What, one time yeah. it was Tom Scarry. He comes over, the... <laughs> and then we fuck him. The snarfing? You guys. What is snarfing? I am not going to explain what is... lesbian sex to you. No, wait. There was a lot of you that thought that I was serious. There's been. There's, but there may be a. I, I, is snarfing a thing? Is that no? Like, it's no. Just a joke. Oh, okay. That's the point. Snarf is a character from Thundercats. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not a thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, I was. I was making the joke no. that all oh, lesbians are into Thundercats. Like I'm. Like, I was like making up a new stereotype. And clearly they are. <laughs> I mean, Chitara, give yeah. me a break. No, I mean it's uh, my. Well, I just. You know what? I also have to tell you guys. I just saw Batman vs Superman, but Whoa. also don't see it. <laughs> like I just saw it a second Spoilers, ago. Spoilers, don't see it. <laughs> but um, I went to see it with a with a group of friends, and then the theater was very full, you know, because it's the opening weekend or whatever. And uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah. She's in this movie for like two and a half minutes, but I mean, how do we snarf? We go see Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Like re like she she I mean and. And this is, I'm just going to go ahead and spoil this. Like, you do see her go, like, when she appears, she's like. <laughs> yeah. we, I mean, I stood up, and it was at the arc light, so that was a real problem. <laughs> there she is, you know? And then everyone was like. Does she look like, does she look like se sexy Linda Carter, like 70s, 80s uh, uh, Wonder Woman? Or? Uh, she looks like. I'm, uh, I'm asking, like, does she have high-waisted like, boy what? shorts on? Because that's. No, that's, that's, um, that's no she's got, thing. like, a cool, she's got, like, a cool superhero outfit on. It is definitely very short. There's a part where she falls down, and then her kind of, her kind of, but not. She's it's because she's fighting so much. She doesn't fall down like for bad. She, she kind of slides. She kind of slides under like a mechanic. You know, like it's. She slides under the glass ceiling. She slides under the glass ceiling. Which is well, there for her safety. I know. No, it is. Contrary to all this chatter I'm seeing on the internet, it's for safety. I that the it's whole. It's like a sneeze guard, the glass ceiling. <laughs> but going up. Yeah, it's just, yeah. it's there for protection. Right. It's um, she. This whole movie is about dudes being so sad that they're superheroes. It's like it's like two dudes that are like I'm like this is a, this is actually where we've this is the point we've gotten to with with dude focused movies where now there's just movies where dudes are like. I don't want any of this. <laughs> You're saying the, the the fan response? You mean? I don't want that. No, like the guys on screen. Oh, the guys on screen are. You know them. Their names are Batman and Superman. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and that the whole time they're like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's what it looks like in the trailer. That they're like, no. That bat. You hear Batman's voice and he's going, Why is he so super? That's a bad idea. That's, that's and then exactly. Superman's like, It's because I gotta be super. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> and also, P.S. P.S. Uh, ben Affleck and uh, is it Henry Cavill? Is that his name? Yeah. They are so giant in this movie. Like this way, it feels like it feels like the it's out. It feels like they stretched the screen, <laughs> and then they also they just so they, they're huge this way, and then they put they were like, what will look normal on a man? Who is his check? Each individual peck is as wide as he is tall. <laughs> and, then, and then somebody was like, oh, for Batman? Well, when he's not wearing the suit, put him in tweed. <laughs> and tweed is like such a bulky fabric that Ben Affleck is like trying to <laughs> walk, but he's just catching on fire. Like he can't. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so he's just standing, he can't, he can't really move. And then they're both, they're so huge. They're so huge. And then Wonder Woman just, the whole movie is, she's, she's like trying to figure out if she's going to be Wonder Woman. I saw, I saw, and then you, she's like, did you, like, did you see the trailer before you saw the movie? I did. Because I saw, I went to see Deadpool and I saw the, tra- the, play, the, the yep. will you put a sock in it? <laughs> yup. Well, the, the last time this movie came up, a guy got punched in Miami. <laughs> Uh, but I, I went to see Deadpool with my girlfriend, and, and they played the trailer before. And I heard all this crazy shit. It was like no one's anticipating Batman with uh, versus Superman or whatever it's called uh, with uh, with uh, well regard, if that's a phrase. Maybe I'm drunk. Maybe I'm dying. The but I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, this this doesn't look that bad. And I was bummed out. And I want to confess why because I don't like Ben Affleck, and I never have, and I've never wanted to see him win. I, 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 yes. Yes. But now I yes. feel yes. twice as bad because now he's down. Yes. Have you seen the sad Affleck? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. I know, but now now he, I don't even get to hate him with pleasure because oh. now everyone hates him. I'm like, God damn it, that was my idea. Well, I I have always I've always found I liked him when he was like uh when he was the snot nosed like douchebag in movies. When he was the like for instance in Days and Confused. Mwah. <laughs> He's ben, great that's in that it, movie. though. Yeah, that, that was the end of yeah, it. Yes, right. In, like, and then one, it in ended. His, yeah, in days. And he was and just then, a douchebag. Well, because like Argo is such uh, an insulting movie, I think, to American audiences and also just to the world. Because I don't know if you, you guys remember when that movie came out, but uh, the the end of that movie is that a plane is rolling down the runway and Ben Affleck is like, "Get in the car!" and they chase the plane in a car and I remember seeing because it's based on a true story and I remember seeing it and I was like well this part didn't happen and then I went home and I looked it up and it did not like there's no car chase of a plane I also don't even believe that the scene where they that they must have built the movie around where they explain the storyboards to security I don't believe that happened either because it's like oh is this Shakespeare in love like what is this like, like, like to what extent do they fucking care uh, it's just like, like when you strip those things out that make the story interesting it's like well come on well I feel like when especially when you're dealing with life and death things and then you just make it a movie that's like oh go fuck yourself we made up a, a phrase that doesn't mean anything and it's the title of the movie like that that to me it was so insulting and i uh i've never recovered i just i, I feel like i'm kicking a guy while he's down but i also feel like i i kept my I, 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 ben Affleck is the only person I've ever seen on screen be frustrated by a mentally challenged person. In, <laughs> in, in what? In, in How's Your News? Uh, have you ever seen that? Like, 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 there's a person mentally yeah. challenged interviewing him, and he's in the. I guess he's well intended because he's like working at some kind of democratic fundraiser, and and be, I, I think in his head he's like, why is this person asking me questions about the uh, the uh, Daredevil movie? And he's like, he, you can see him unlike every rodeo clown and banker and uh, uh, jailer and uh, homeless person that they interview in that movie, everyone else goes like that you can see them cross the threshold of like, oh, you're you're uh, different from me neurologically, uh, and they and they adjust, and it's a very uplifting uh, documentary that rides the line between ex- exploitation and fucking like the opposite of it because it's made by caretakers of you know blah blah blah. But, but like I always, ever since I saw that movie, I was like, you're fucking mad at a retarded guy for being retarded. You, that's crazy. That's so crazy how mad you are at him. That's it. Well, <laughs> and I've always yes. wanted to see him fail. I think that's a great, you know, um, you, you, when I was. And I'm sure this is, I, 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 I'm sorry, the, the sad Batman, Ben Affleck, if you're listening. He's not listening. I think he's, What if he is? There's what no way that Ben he, Affleck. What, what, what if be, this is the he, one. He stopped listening during our airplane he's improv. Not yeah. listening. <laughs> He's already ducked out if he was listening. What, 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 if this, what if this podcast is the one thing he was coming to? I know. That would be This is hard. not the thing. Do you know, I'm, I'm sure there's some people here that, do you know when, when I was a kid, there was an enrichment program that uh, people did in grade school, and it was called The Voyage of the Mimi, and it was... Uh, Mimi? This is great. It was wow. called The Voyage of the Mimi, and you had to stay after school, and you could watch videos about... Like, I think they were shipwrecked children who had to problem solve, and Ben Affleck was in this series, and he's like 11 years old. Um, so, yes, 
So, yes! Yes! Now, yes, so you had to like pass a test and be like a, be like a, like a brain, you know, like the, like a sad brainy kid. And then you, and then you could stay after school and you could watch Voyage of the Mimi. What and they the solved fuck? problems. Like they solved problems like, we don't have any water, let's put a tarp out and then the water will collect on the tarp and it will go into a glass. You're and describing the Illuminati. <laughs> yes. Cameron, did, did, did that build in a love of uh, Affleck for you? Or like, did, did you, are, are, well, you, are you predisposed to like Ben Affleck because of that? No, I don't. I mean, I think I'm probably not, but I just mean, because when you were just saying that, you know, like, but you, you Days and confuses this like you know kind well, well, of young well, well, heyday he, for him. I was the, like, this guy's a geezer because I had been. When he came on the scene, though, you're like, oh, child. I know this guy since I was a like a little girl. Yeah, we came up together. I said, <laughs> it's me, him, and Matt Damon. <laughs> because Dan and Rob and I met him on uh, uh, what the, what's what's the uh, the. The Matt, the Matt Damon movie. We, we, we met Ben Affleck. No, no. Where 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 I where I first know him is uh, what, what's that movie? Good. Good Will Hunting. That, that's that's where he comes that's on the scene for me. Well, you been sleeping because that shit was around for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I hosted the GQ Men of the Year Awards one year when I was on the Daily Show, <laughs> and. <laughs> By the way, I just God want to tell you, you I was hoping you'd bring that up. That was the only year that a, that award really held a uh, really... <laughs> Thank you, Ever man. since then, it's lost Thank its you. meaning. Thank you. It I wasn't like important that was the year for that award. Who were the men of the year? So... That this year, was the first that year. year. Uh, let me answer that question. Go ahead, Dave, that yeah. year, it was the men of the year. Yeah. Ever, ever since then, it's been I was, just <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing it for the honor of doing that, not the money, not the loads of money they were giving me to do that. I was doing it because that was important. You to me. thought that if you hosted yeah. Man of the Year, yes, that it would that be, it would be a ticket to becoming Man of the Year exactly. later. So I went there, and it was the first year that there was a bunch of men of the year, and the jackass guys were there, and then in the table right in front of me was Al Gore, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Ben Affleck, and behind Ben Affleck, holding him, Jennifer Garner, holding him from behind. Well, please don't tell me anything negative about Jennifer Garner. Uh, no, she was great. She comes out oh, the hero in this God. story. She's the hero in this story. She looks so good in Oh, wigs. she's the best. She comes out the hero. So the, I wrote this whole comedy bit with a friend of mine, and he was in the way back of the room with my wife. And, uh, and it was really funny. I thought it was very, very funny. And one of my, then I, I started, it was like a light roast of all the people there. <laughs> That's good. All right. good it was good, 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 to, all good right. to see Leo DiCaprio's here. It was a, uh, yeah, he, exactly. he, he tips 19%. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Still way above what you should expect. So I started with, so I see the jackass guys are here, and Steve-O said, sit down, you shit ass. So that was my first experience interacting with the audience. So I was immediately like out of my element. That's not even a term. No, he said, "Shit, sit down, shit you ass. shit ass." I, I I've met Steve-O. The first yeah. time I met him, he took he pulled up his shirt. He's got a tattoo of himself. Himself. Yeah, and this was like full on drug years, Steve-O. Yeah, and no, he was uh, not, not that. He's, not that he's it, all sobered up now. <laughs> now it's the Constitution. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's become a libertarian. I feel like very... I'd be able to connect with Steve-O now that he's sober. And on his now, back, now, now a he, map to dry land. Yes. And that's controversial, but it's yeah. true. He, so he, he, I he, said... He's, he's just starting to get tattoos of other people now. <laughs> I worked my way up to uh, Ben Affleck. And um, I said, <laughs> uh, Ben Affleck is here. And Jen Garter was behind Ben Affleck, and she just started shaking her head at me. Aww. And he was staring at me, like staring daggers at me. And Jen Garner's going, don't, don't, don't do, do it. it. You're, you're don't causing do it. me six hours of yeah. paperwork. She's like, please. <laughs> you you, you have any respect for me, you will don't not ruin my weekend. And you will so not I, like these apples. I had a bunch of <laughs> jokes prepared. This guy is an emotional China syndrome. Don't uh, do it for him. Do it for me. 
So I said, uh, Ben Affleck is here. <laughs> ben Affleck and I, <laughs> the whole front row is in the fetal position. <laughs> ben Affleck is here. Uh, we, uh, ben and I have a lot in common. We're both from Boston. Uh, yeah. Ben, Ben, we, we both drive Maseratis except for me. <laughs> that, that I thought was a really good joke. Yeah. That's fine. And then, and I said, this was a terrible joke. I said, and when something like uh, in the moment of climax, we, both call, we have both called out um, J-Lo's name. Oh. Something nice. like that. Just like a general and proximity. And Garner's head, she's like whipping herself. She's like, I was protecting him. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> giving herself whiplash saying no. And, and then they excused me from the stage. Wait. And Al, Al Gore got up and he said... Wait, he this said, is just like Jimmy Corrine's story. What the fuck happened right then and then, there? Oh. What do you mean they excused you from the stage? No, this and is what happened. we never got a straight answer. Right? This is like what it. happened. Will Ferrell was there, and he's the only one laughing at every one of my jokes. <laughs> He's the only one laughing at full volume. And I didn't, I, I've since, I don't know whether he was laughing because he thought it was funny or he laughing because he felt bad for me. And then I left the stage and Al Gore got up and Al Gore said, well, we've all suffered Rob Cordry's barbs. What? No, Rob Corduroy. He called me Rob Corduroy. Rob Corduroy's barbs. And that's when I yelled, I like whispered to my wife in the back of the room. I said, start the car. <laughs> start the car. And then I got back up and I thanked everybody for being there. And uh, Steve-O yelled at me again. And then I walked off the stage and got right into my, just walked right Wait. into my car and went on. I'm sorry, Rob. Is it because... Uh, because he's so sacred? Like, what's the, uh, the point? Is what, Ben he, Affleck? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it, I guess that's the point. That you are not I, allowed to make I guess fun I was of Ben no, Affleck. No, 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 no. I think I, she I was, made some. She was I made like, some Leonardo DiCaprio jokes, and there was nobody behind Leo going, "No, no." No, it was Jennifer no. Garner was holding him from behind. Poor was, Jen like, Garner. Was, she was like, she was like, I know my boyfriend, husband, whatever he was to her, uh, my 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 ward. Uh, <laughs> I know what's coming, and I know I've dealt with this. I was at a cerebral palsy benefit, and someone made a joke that he didn't understand, and it's been three days of, of fucking bringing him toasted cheese sandwiches and telling him it'll be better. He should Don't go fucking roast this guy if you care about Jennifer Garner's week. That's what, ha what was happening, and then, and then his joke accidentally was like, it was like on her, and she's like, I don't believe it. I really think in general, roasting, worst, worst job of a per for people you don't have a relationship with. No. Why and who hate they me do from this? The start. Yeah. Why they do this to comics? I will never understand. Like what I mean is, if, when, if everybody's buddies, or let's say it's Donald Trump and he's like, I am benefiting enormously from being on Comedy Central, and everybody is going to make fun of me, and I have signed up for this fully. But other than that, I feel like it's just like you're either Tina and Amy or. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I, I the answer like, is don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. These are strangers. I made $35,000. <laughs> hey, do it. Do it. Do it. At a time when that was, that was, I was, do you was think, super cool with that. Do you think, do you, uh, do you think you killed print media? So that that might have been the night that it died. Yes. Yeah. 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 That might we were like, let's life. save this magazine. Who can we get on our side? Al Gore and Ben Affleck. Sit down, you shit ass. <laughs> but don't you don't you think it? Jennifer Garner was like holding him back because she thinks like, oh, he's gonna kick. kick no, your ass. no. I did a movie with Jennifer Garner right after that, and I was like, fuck, do I talk to her about this? Got do I it. talk to her about this moment that we shared? Because we shared a moment, and she has to know about this moment, and we didn't spend one second on it. Like, we didn't but, talk about it. But wait, it. what year was this? Oh, eight, five, six years ago. I don't mean ago. to, I do not The mean movie to. was um, Butter. It was called Butter. Oh, yeah. Well, oh. 
Thank you. I do not. I do not mean to diminish your yeah. role in, in your butter. life, but I wonder no. if maybe she just didn't remember. Didn't give a shit. Well, I think maybe. maybe just didn't give a shit. Also, I bet like she had a lot of stuff That's going on. I probably, think she was kind of busy. Yeah, yeah. if she, she had was a lot clutching of Ben yeah. F like that hard, <laughs> that worried. You're right. I know she, it's going to seem... I probably did not register on her... It's going to seem like we set this up, but what I, I, wanted, I wanted the three of you to do... I brought the uh, scripts. Uh, I wanted the three of you to do the controversial scene from Butter. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, the fair? The Butter fair scene? The, the, the director's cut. The, the, when the, the director cut. Okay. Okay, Guys, so... Guys, uh, the campfire scene. I finally finished it. This is my um, sculpture of a Monopoly board made out of butter. Listen, it's pretty hot out, and it's... Bread! (laughs) Time to get some bread in here, I was going to say. Then bread fell from the sky. Yeah. And this you is where... set this whole thing up. That's thunder. <laughs> you brought me here to an outside butter tournament to set up this Monopoly board just to drop bread from the ceiling in the middle of a thunderstorm. Typical romance. I don't know why they cut the scene. I don't. I, 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 that seems like a great scene. Yeah. They, they cut that for time or what? I guess it was like yeah. the, uh, the World Trade Center was in the background. Yeah, it happened <laughs> for it, no this, reason. This movie came out around 9/11. <laughs> Cameron, have, have you ever been uh, hired or asked to roast other people? Um, I, not not for 35 G's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Uh. No. I. I have, I'm very. I'm kind of smiley, so I think people don't think I can do it. <laughs> but those people are wrong. I'm so mean. Guys, <laughs> let's roast each other. Yeah. All right. Oh shit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome oh, to the Harmon Town. I don't like this roast. I don't like this. That's, <laughs> I don't like this. The roast where Spencer is the roast master general. Oh, where he, uh, uh, what is a roast master general? Do? You're the roast master general, which means you get to uh, you get to run the proceedings. All right, go. Uh, all right. Do you want to say who roasts whom? No. All right. Do you want to be the roast master general? No, we just haven't we haven't spoken to you for a while. You've been sitting over there, and I, I was no. It's it's I, all I, good. I, I don't have very much input on movies or comedy routines or famous people or experiences with them. I just you know it's all good. I just if I had uh, things to contribute, you all know. Right, I would. All well, right, let's talk about ISIS. <laughs> Well, there's only one thing you missed out. Well, we've been we've been really pulling together a new plot that I think's gonna just surprise everybody. You're an ISIS? No. Dole. <laughs> Subscribe to harmontown.com slash live to see my dough face. <laughs> I could roast you guys. I could roast you guys so much. All right. We need a roast master general that's going to bring people You would up. be burned up. Don't. I want to be burned From up. From when I'm going to roast you, you're going to get hot. Do it. Right. You're uh, going to get so crispy, your skin is going to get blistered. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Esposito, save your roasts for when the roast starts. Lady, I'm lady, just how trash you... talking in advance. <laughs> oh, you boys are not even going to know. When I start to talk, you are going to listen to me. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to the first annual Hymantown Roast, where nobody's safe from being roasted at any moment. The roaster can become the roasted. Wait, wait, wait. Good. Is, is Jimmy Corain like still here? Let's, let's sit I'm Jimmy Corain in a, in not a like shorter this. chair. Is Jimmy Corain still there? in the center of the stage and let's roast Jimmy Corain. But... <laughs> Wait, no, wait. You just, you, you, you're just trying to get out of being roasted. Lord cheer? Oh, no, you can roast me. I just thought it'd be funny if it was the third party because that's how roasts Let's work. Let's bring out Jimmy Corain again to possibly get roasted. Just put it like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you were doing it right. You are doing fine. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. 
Go ahead, Jeff. Jeff, it's the Jimmy Corain roast. All right, Jimmy oh, Corain. Yes, uh, 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 hello, uh, I'm, I'm Jeff Davis here, uh, your host. Uh, we got Jimmy Corain out here. He told a story about uh, trying to commit suicide on a plane earlier. You know, a lot of people uh, would be in Guantanamo for that. But uh, uh, look, I like Jimmy Corain. Uh, here's somebody who hates Jimmy Corain. Cameron Esposito, everybody. <laughs> Jimmy Crane, I've known you for years because we both spent time in Chicago. What a city! <laughs> it is full of food, and you will eat it if you are hungry. <laughs> Just like everyone else, you are so good at improv that you teach classes and you make people pay you, you very greedy man. <laughs> oh, shit! Cameron Esposito, everybody. Cameron Esposito. Ah, oh, shit. Let's, let's bring out. Uh, you like him. He's bald. His name is Rob. His name is Dan Harmon. <laughs> I would have come here earlier, but Roseanne Barr's pussy had that horn in it. Good job, Cameron Esposito. Hey, your lesbian called the 90s once uh, uh, back, uh, back uh, wants to get uh, the lesbianism back. <laughs> no, she's great. I kid, I kid Cameron Esposito. I kid her because I, 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 I'm opposed to her lifestyle. not going to say Cameron Esposito is a lesbian, but when she goes out, she goes out with a woman. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Too soon. But we are here to talk about the legend, Jimmy Corrine, the man, the legend, the Fucking horrible monster. <laughs> Folks, it's not fair. I know a lot of people say Jimmy Crane is a piece of shit. He's a terrible person. He's a, he should kill himself. <laughs> what else is going on? Dan Harmon, everybody. Oh, shit. Let's bring out. Do. You know it's him. Honor to be here. It's honor to you be know him. You love him. He's the less famous Cordry, Rob Cordry. Oh man, Amy Schumer's not here, <laughs> but she's a slut, right? Um, and then there's the other guys. Uh, the Roastmaster General. He's fat. And then there's a. Uh, all the guys that Dan mentioned. And then uh, Cameron's a lesbian. And then Trub is bald as fuck. He doesn't even know he's been bald since he was 19. It's like, uh, fuck. And then, but with, then there's the guy, Jimmy. I really respect him. Because he's a guy that that is a, a sort of a luminary on the on the in the improv in the improv community. So oh shit, that was Rob Cordry, everybody. I Damn. Him. Damn. Wait. I really need a rebuttal because I didn't realize I was supposed to cover everyone. Huh? Oh. Oh. So oh shit. Oh. 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 He's got to update his iPad here. Hold on. I'm not that saying Cameron Esposito doesn't understand roasts. But when she goes to TGI Fridays, she orders the... Uh, you know what's better than this? Let's bring out Rob Schraub, everybody. Rob Schraub. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so sad all the time. 
Oh, God. I stepped on a nail. <laughs> my, my foot hurts. It hurts so bad. It's, oh, it's, you all seem like really nice people. I don't understand the point of this. Oh, it's, it's, it's bleeding really bad right now. This nail, I stepped on a nail. I didn't see it was really dark backstage. It went right through my shoe. Eyes are watering. Rob, Rob. It really hurts. I can, Rob, Rob. I, I, Rob. I had to walk on it just to get the Rob. I got the podium so far away from the Rob, edge of the stage. Rob, you're supposed to make fun of Cameron. I, I, or, or Jimmy or anybody else. Did, did, okay, you could be taller, I guess. I, did, I just... <laughs> out, I, I, seriously, just... I, Rob. I, I'm a, you're not supposed to pull it out. Rob, Rob, Rob. Work, work. I, heard you, I heard you're not supposed to pull it out. It makes it bleed. Rob, more. work work the dais. Uh, work the dais um, right now. Uh, oh, my God. Losing a lot of blood here. <sighs> oh, Cordry. Um, oh, shit. Uh, a nice, nice shirt, I guess. It, it, it could be... Uh, uh, it actually is a nice shirt. It what is, the fuck's it going is. on? Yeah, it's great. It's great. Okay, um... Dan, you smell like piss, and... Uh, <laughs> shit. Fuck. Oh, my God. This nail in my foot really hurts. It might be one of those, like, drywall screws between... All right, the thing is around shop. Oh, my God. Call my wife. Call my wife. Please call my wife. Let's hear. I let, can't. Let, somebody let, help me walk off let, stage. Let's, let's bring out. Somebody uh, help me walk off stage. It's only going to make it worse walking on. Against normal roast protocol for an early rebuttal, Cameron Esposito, okay. even though it's not her roast. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> wow, the whole team now, you're lined up and you're ready for these things. <laughs> Spencer Crittenden, everybody. Spencer Crittenden. Spencer Crittenden. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. Wait, where, where's he going? Where's he going? Sit you the can't fuck down. Leave. Leave Sit the fuck down. He really liked the joke. I'll say when the I will say when the roast is over. He loves the roast. I want a second rebuttal. Second rebuttal. Second rebuttal. Cameron Esposito, back for rebuttal number two, everybody. I should get a tourniquet or something. Cause <laughs> Somebody turn his lav mic off. My, my toes Dan, are turning purple. Dan, I'm not saying that you didn't make Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> but you made a whole other show that was equally beloved. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, by, you, by a different group of people than that other show. The two shows are for a different audience, and I think you are being too competitive. So I don't think you need to worry about it. And it seems like you still have enough money <laughs> to live. So uh, I think I'm who getting cares? Locked, locked jaw. <laughs> that can't be good, right? Oh. Yeah. Somebody should sweep up back there. It's nails. Cameron Esposito's rebuttal number three. Oh, shit. This is three of seven, Cameron. Ro three yeah, of seven. Yeah, you got it. Help me. Rob, I'm not saying that you are <laughs> particularly good at Twitter, but everybody made your name into a verb. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> so shut up! Uh, Fuck you, shrub. Oh, you your were... your name isn't even your name anymore. This it's a whole other thing, and you did it with your own stup with your own success. Oh, that was, no, it was so nice. Look at, <laughs> look, look nice at Dan's thing. face. Look at look at the face Dan's making right now. He looks so mad. He <laughs> looks so mad. Oh, uh, uh, this is the nicest. Oh roast. shit. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a Jimmy Korean uh, roast mo moment where Dan. <laughs> we got some band aids for Rob Schraub right now. 
A little prop comedy, everybody. <laughs> it's not a joke. It really hurts. Should probably sanitize these. Spencer Crittenden moment. One liner. <laughs> ha ha. Yeah. You still got it. But seriously, Jimmy, you've taken a lot of abuse tonight. It's only fair that we let you uh, we let you rebut. Let's hear it for the man of the hour, Jimmy Coran, everyone. Thank you. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. shit. Wait, wait, wait. I have one more rebuttal. Somebody call an ambulance. Cameron Esposito. Well, okay, Rob Corddry, you are next to me. Get back, get, a, get, cl- get further away, because <laughs> you're going to be so sad. When you cry, I don't want to see it. So what I'm trying to say to you is, it's almost like you are smart enough to figure out how to create a television show that is successful, but you aren't even recognizable from it, so you can still go a bunch of places and live a good life. Which is an interesting and cool business decision, you Shit. dumb person. Oh. Oh, she's letting me have it right now. What people really don't know is that th- this rebuttal by her is like actually like ten minutes long. Like, like there's no there's no musical sting gonna save her from this one. This this is a this is a long piece. This whole b- rebuttal, I have been to. I was kidding. All right, come on. I want I want to go again. <laughs> if everybody gets to go again, I want to go again. Oh boy. Uh, Harmon, are you sure this is a good idea? Let me man? go. I you can seem do like it. I want to make you a good go. roast. We could just Dan, Dan, we could just end the show right here. It's been a good I show. I was told the show oh, would be over by show, 9:30. You know, the show, everything's about the show, but nothing's about the entertainment. <laughs> if you don't let me roast these people, you're against entertainment. In my day, people roasted. They turned up the heat. Johnny Carson called Sammy Davis Jr. a faggot. Sammy Davis called Johnny Carson a homo. Everybody be gay. It was fun. Now it's become all about the political correct. I'll tell you what's correct. Politically is gay. <laughs> Straight B values, you faggot. Yeah, let's keep saying that. <laughs> let's get it in again. It's good to see everybody up here. You're all queer. Now, I served for three years in the candidacy under the Roasties administration. That's the conceit of my bit. And there were two rules. Be gay. (laughs) And who? Who? It's always good to see Rob Schraub here. Gay. Yeah, yeah, end the show. I'm really in a lot of pain. <laughs> Rob Cordry's here. Rob Trubb is really in a lot of pain. I'm, we should end the show. It's a the nail. He's really fucked up right now. It's a nail right, right, right in the, right He's in got the nerve. He's got a nail right, right through the his nerve. foot. N- foot nerves. It's not a joke. No. It's not a joke. Right in the, right in the palm. I will say, it's a little apropos it being Easter Sunday. No, not funny. Uh... Thank you for coming to Harmontown, everybody. We're not going to follow that shit with anything. Let's hear for Jimmy Corain, Rob Schraub, Spencer Crittenden. Cameron Esposito, Rob Cordry. Oh. Uh, Jamarge Brown uh, is in the green room. Jamarge is here. Bring Jamarge Brown out right now. The show is over. Jamarge Brown. Yay! No. 
yo. Get out there, pretty much. Follow that shit, Demarge. Demarge, come on, roast everybody. Roast. roast us. All right, for the final word. This is going to be a slow mic. simmer. Uh, 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 Jeff Davis, it's good to see you here. Lady Elaine Fairchild called. She wants her whole fucking vibe back. <laughs> Zoomerang. <laughs> Cameron Esposito is here. Pinky Descadero called and she said, hello. <laughs> and on that, I'm going to say good night. We all got to go. Yeah. Let's hear it for Hammer Town, everybody. Thank you one more time. Demars Brown, Rob Cordy, Rob Schraub, Cameron, Jimmy Corain, Spencer Crittenden, who didn't speak a whole lot, but we love him just, just as much. Your mayor again, one more time, Mr. Dan Harmon, everybody. It was the roastiest of roasts. Hi, it's Dan Harmon. If you're like me, you're a big fan of Harmontown, the podcast, uh, and you wish that you didn't have to wait uh, so long for it to drop after we record it. But here's the thing. Jeff Spencer, take it. You do not have to wait. You can, you can not only hear it right after it happens, you can watch it, too, in delicious, deluxe, high-definition multicam on your browser or your mobile phone. We do edit some stuff out sometimes. Like, I'll say something so incredibly racist uh, that we will catch it right before it drops as a podcast. Uh, but or, you get to watch Dan right before the sedition hearing when he talks shit about Trump again. Right. Uh, sometimes and, we have really famous guests, but we just cut it out of the podcast entirely. Because it turns out they're pedophiles. Sometimes Spencer's never wearing a shirt <laughs> most of the time we put that in in post not to mention all the times you always hear people laughing at something that doesn't sound funny because someone is making a funny face or wearing a funny shirt yeah for five bucks you get to watch all that stuff we, you, you can see the weirdos sitting down like getting nervous on camera there's, there's like one camera that's just right up someone's nose and they're always picking their nose and stuff like that that's good as if that wasn't enough here's some political incentive um we will match your new subscription to the harmontown live feed uh up until april 15th the day of the big tax march, um, will match it with a donation to the ACLU, which stands for a clue, which is what you should get. And I know, I know, you're, I know that's triggering your thought of going. Doesn't the ACLU now have eight hundred million dollars? Because, uh, uh, but here's the thing: ACLU money is like toilet paper money; uh, it never expires. But if political encouragement weren't enough, some apolitical encouragement is: if you sign up, you get access to a year and a half of our back catalog of video episodes, including a tour in Australia and Harmon Country, as well as audio downloads on the night of the record. On just minutes after it airs. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times have you been listening to Harmontown for free after Wednesday and thought, I would really want to know what that guy looks like or what she looks like, or I want to see exactly how uncomfortable the audience is when Adam Goldberg is on stage. Mm -hmm. Now, for $5 a month, you get to see it as well as hear it. You can almost taste the Harmontown. Go to harmontown.com slash live for your subscription to watch us as well as hear us. It really, really is a taste treat. <laughs> Dan gave me little 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 eyebrows. I like I was like, holy shit, that guy just hit the bullseye. <laughs> he has a taste treat.